keep carrying on. I think this part I need to. I feel like I need to fix this part a bit more. And also, I like to get. I would like to get a similar similar shadowing on the side. So, I'll come in here. Let's create a new, more like a new light setup for this character. So I'm trying to kind of match the lighting we have in here also around here. So to do that, I would need to come to lights. I'll turn this off. I'll create a new one. So let's kind of match. Let's kind of match the same lighting in here. Increase the intensity. Okay, <clears throat> something pretty much like this. So with this now you can see how you can actually see how this is looking with this light setup. You can see that now we have some we have a few things to fix in here. So with this light setup now we can easily identify can easily identify areas that we should fix. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this actually exposes a lot of things that we need to fix. So back to the bling materials. Let's just <clears throat> let's start fixing things up in here. So the shape of the leaf should go down. So let's go to the standard brush. Get this in here. That is to let me put that down. So smoothing that down. Let's get something around here. Let me undo that. Do that again. Just keeps giving this weird issue. Let me do them standard brush instead. Increase the brush size, increase the intensity a bit more. Yeah, it looks a bit better now. I'll gently smooth that down a bit more. I'm doing the same thing also for the top. Okay. So I know now that <clears throat> I know now that I will need to push this sides this side down some more. That needs to come down so much. Let's go to a lower subdivision level. So I'm going to be using the move brush instead for this. So I'll come to the side like so and push this in a bit more. Okay. Maybe use instead use a smooth brush to get a smoother transition around there. <clears throat> smooth this down some more. Okay.
I'll increase the <coughs> smooth intensity a bit more. I will smooth this down a bit more. Okay. Something like this should be fine, but we we'll need to work a bit more in there though. So let's go one subdivision level higher. Now I'm going to use the clay builder brush. I'll fill this part up and I'll just smooth that down. Okay. It's a shape we're trying to capture in here. So now let's fill that up. Since the shape also continues on here. All the way here, like so. Let's zoom out some more. Let's see what we have. And I'll smooth the, take down the smooth intensity and I'll smooth the side. Gently massage this down. I think we might need a bit more around here. Use my brush size and then smooth this down. Let's zoom out. Let's see what we have. Smooth this edge down some more. Okay, something seems to be frozen in here. Okay. Need to make an adjustment here. That part doesn't look completely right yet. So I'm going to use the damn standard brush, increase the brush size a bit more. Get a little more intense intensity to it. I'll just create a depth around here. No, that doesn't look right so. First, let me try to use the move brush. Go to the lower subdivision level and then raise this up a bit higher. Okay, yeah, something a bit higher, like so. This part will smooth down a bit more. So we're not having too much height in there to make their look a bit older. We don't, we don't want to look a bit older. We want to look quite young. We're going for a younger face to him. I think we need to fix something in here. Let's go over around here. Smooth this out. Should probably elevate that some more. So with the move brush, I will just elevate this out some more. From the side view, I'll just push this in some more. Rather from this top view. 
All right. So this one is looking a bit too high, so let's just get that down some more. So right, I'm not really going. I'm not really going for absolute precision to kind of capture this face, capture the likeness at 100 percent. I'm just trying to get something interesting in there. So let me push this up a bit more. All right, something like that should be fine. Let's go one subdivision level higher. Something is missing here, so I need to kind of fill this up. So I'm going to use the clay builder brush and just fill this part up and smooth that down. All right. I think I'll go to a lower subdivision level. Needs to be a shape around here. Something like that. Let's go one subdivision level higher. Just trying to make sure with the shadowing we have on there, you can capture that the silhouette of that shape in there. So I'm going to use the clay builder brush now and just build something on here. Smooth that down. Smooth that down. Try to kind of eliminate that line we're having in there that's a bit obvious and smooth that down like i've spent too much time on these lips already but we'll just have to get it right the move brush i need to move this down some more okay Maybe we should look at this from this view instead. Probably should have a bit more insight when we look at it from this view. Let's go to the lower subdivision level with the move brush. Push this in some more. Uh, maybe too much. Something like some somewhere around there should be fine. Let me raise this up. Okay, I think this should be fine. What else are we missing? Probably we should go. Let me just do a quick save for this now. I think we already have most of the shape in there. Okay. Let's look for other references that might help us. Mm. 
Okay. So let's push it in a bit more. This goes in this goes in backward a bit more. Okay. Let's see some real world reference in here. So this one obviously knows not perfectly symmetrical, so we're still going to have to break symmetry on our model though. Okay. Let's kind of get this. Uh we see I definitely need to push this back some more. So I'm going to use the move brush. So I'm basically sculpting in secondary and primary details at the same time. So let's get this in some more. And let's get this slightly elevated and I push this down some more. Let's check out this side view. Like so, let's see what we have. Okay. Feel like I need to accentuate. You know how deep this should be, though. Let's see. I need to gently smooth this out. Let me smooth this out some more. So oh, I wanted that and I did it and I did it again. So see trying to figure out the distance. The distance around here. Okay. Think I need to use the let's let's see the standard brush instead. Draw out something around here. Let me use the brush size. Draw something around here. Something pretty much like so. Okay, ours doesn't really have that in there, so I need to smooth. I need to want to. Let me know, do I just smooth this out a bit more? Okay, I think the depth for us is okay. Most of the shape we need are actually in the One of the most difficult, difficult aspects now is just to figure out what should be as in the side view, the profile view. Let's see how we can make that a bit better. That was the aim right now, just to make the side view a bit better. A bit better than it is right now. So I'm trying to figure out if there's something else needs to kind of block out in there. I think this is fine. I think we can do any other thing supposed to be in here on the second group pass. But one thing I'd like to do in here is to fix the years. The years needs to be fixed. Probably I'll come back to 
you face a game but Changing the camera, changing the material now to something of this matte cap gray is giving us a slightly different look. With this shadow in here, we have something nice. So, let me get something directly on the center. This looks nice, but on this view, this looks a bit weird. Actually, actually this part, but with some shadowing in there, isn't the let's try this. Uh, this material is only giving us, let's try a skin material in there. And let's go to a higher subdivision level instead for this. Let's see what we have. Let's try different skin materials to kind of see see if everything's working correctly. This one been affected. Let's see if this one has been affected. Let's try something towards a skin skin looking material okay something like this let's see and let's try changing the light a bit more let's see what we have Just try as much as, as much as possible to kind of capture the essence of this character properly. And I'm not just depending on this matte cap material in there. I think this would actually work for the most part. This will work for the most part. I'm just switching the color now. Yeah, this one is kind of smooth. This is just way too deep. So let's go to the lower subdivision level and smooth this out some more. Smooth out some more. Smooth this out. Smooth this out some more. Let it smooth that transition around there. Go to lower subdivision level. Then standard brush. Let's create some depth underneath this. Turn on symmetry. Let's see what we have. All right. Uh, I think. 
or the nose use the move brush put the lower subdivision level push this in some more okay I don't feel I see okay uh maybe let's just work on somewhere else maybe if I come back to this with a new set of eyes I would be able to figure out what we're missing in there but for now this looks good enough that's too deep I need to use the pinch brush see if we can tighten this out some more uh, something pretty much like that. A bit something a bit tighter in there should be fine. Okay. So another important part is the eyes and the ear. Uh, okay, let's fix the let's do the eye first. Because something they have not fixed. So let's go to lower subdivision level for that. Then we'll zoom into the eye a bit more. There isn't so much being the eye though, but let's just which one should we be? let's use this instead. So I'm going to be using the move topological brush instead. Move topological brush. And I believe we, we need to max out some region. So let's increase subdivision level some more. And I'm going to use the max lasso too. Max out. This region like so. Then I'm going to give it another poly group. So let me exclude all out and exclude all these parts. So I'll give it a separate poly group in there. Let me undo that again. Okay. Separate poly group. Then I can max this out. Add max, invert the selection, blow the max a bit more. Then now I can freely use the move topological brush now and then push this, blow this out again, and then push this down some more. Do you need a bit more? I think we need a bit more depth in here, so just get some depth in there. Okay, I think I can actually use the move brush now. Kind of blow this out some more, then push this closer. Making sure I don't have any weird issues happening in there, which I think I do. Let's smooth in the a bit more, smooth that inner part a bit more like so, okay. So front facing now. Let's do this again. Blow the marks. See, I need to use the standard brush and now some kind of thickness around there like so I think we need a bit more around the air use them standard brush add some more depth around the air think something like so Back to the move brush. 
bring this out down down hmm? pushing the wrong place so down some more like this okay I think that should be it. Smooth this part out some more. You got the marks. Push this down a bit more. And do that. Okay. Let me bring this a bit closer to the eye. Something like that should be fine. All right. The only part that's kind of freaking me out is this portion around. This portion is kind of freaking me out. This, the entire region, like so, for the mouse, is just freaking me out. I feel like I'm not getting it precisely as I should yet. So what we actually have in there can actually work. What we have in there can actually work. Uh okay, I'll leave it like this. I think I just finalize this with the year. Guessing I'll need to expand the lips out a bit more. Okay, so let's just do the year. Uh, I think when I get a better eye, I should be able to do some make some other corrections to this. The lips feels a bit more pronounced. The lips is a bit more pronounced. Okay, from the side is not as pronounced as it should be, but let's think. Let's do for that anatomical reference image to be sure if we're doing the right thing. So full on side view. Let's look for something with more lips to it. Okay. Now this one is a bit this part of that one the lips are a bit forward. Most of this jawline is a bit forward. But I'm not trying to go for something a bit too extreme. Though to give it a nice a nice um look to it, but nah, I'm not too particular about going getting something that's out way too much. Let's just look for a reference that actually helps. Can't really find something that is very precise though. 
maybe we can just let's see what we can do in here from the side it looks okay but i would need to let's see you can get it forward a bit more Probably a bit higher around here. Let's go to another subdivision level. Let's see what we have. I want to get to have a more of a fuller lip to it, to him rather. Mm, I think this should be fine. So let's just work on the year. So let's work on the year a bit more. I think we can use this guy's year as an example. The jaw region. I think this jaw region. I think to get something a bit more angular in there with the move brush let's get something a bit more angular in there so it looks more like so it looks and feels more like a male character all right So let's work on the year now. So I'm going to be using this as my main. You said let's look for something else. Mm, I think this one. So let's just go to the actual view for it. So now for the year, I think I'll need to let's do a circular max in around there. Let us increase the subdivision level first. Let's get a circular shape. So we can capture every bit of the year. So give it a separate poly group. Something like this, so we can just focus on just the year alone. So, uh, I think the main brush I'm going to be using will be the Inflate brush. So, B I N. So, let's get an indentation around the air. Raise this up a bit higher, like so. Dig in here. Dig in there a bit more. Use the move brush and pinch this in, like so. I don't use the clay build up, clay, clay brush. Let's see. Let's see what the clay brush actually does around here. If you push in there, I notice it will push the back out way too much. So I don't want that. So I'm not going to stick with the inflate brush. So I'm going to do this in a lower subdivision level first before moving up to an higher subdivision level. So I use the move brush. Get this up a bit higher. Pinch this up a bit higher, like so. 
push this in, get this out, the damn standard brush, create an indentation around here, smooth that out. So come to the side view, I'm going to use the same inflate brush again and just inflate this digging here a bit more. Maybe wait, that's way too much. Then inflate this shape. Inflate this shape a bit more. Go one subdivision level higher. Okay. Inflate a sh shape around the air. Let's get this a bit thicker. Use the damn standard brush with a bit more higher intensity and just dig in here. Get some more depth around here. Get the depth around here, smooth that out. Use the standard brush. Get an edge around the put out and dig this in. Get the shape around the air. I need to use the pinch brush now. Form the new symmetrically. Yes, it's symmetrical. I'll pinch this edge. Pinch this edge so I'm gonna make it a bit tighter. The shape around the head I need to fix. So I'm going to use the standard brush and just create a bit more depth around the head. That's a bit too much. Around there should be fine. Then a bit more in here. Dig this in some more. That is a bit tighter, like so. Use the damn standard brush. Create some kind of separation around there. That's way too intense. Like so, smooth that out. Use the standard brush. Build something around here. Yeah, something pretty much like so. I think for the most part, we are mostly done with this. the shape around here so it's not looking generic it's not looking generic anymore so let's do one subdivision level higher essentially the depth here get this a bit higher Okay, just getting some secondary shape around this. Smooth that out some more. So it's not too obvious, but still there. I think something like this should work just fine. It's not extremely complicated, but still good enough for us to use. So I go to lower subdivision level with the move brush. Just push this a bit closer. Reduce the brush size a bit more. Push this a bit closer. So we get something a bit tight around there.
All right, so maybe I went overboard. But this will work just fine since it's not really since the years are not going to be like the major part of the entire face, but at least we have enough detail to kind of hold the shape. Maybe use the clay builder brush and then just fill it. No, 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 no. Not the clay builder brush. The inflate brush instead. And inflate some shape out a bit more. And smooth. And smooth. Yeah, I think that should be fine. So, in the next tutorial, I'm going to break in symmetry on this shape and then work individually on some other shape before adding skin pore detail in here. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. So, bye for now.